Alright, so, I'm sorry, I should have had this set up. So I'm uh, Whitaker, that's me. It's one of my online fights. Let's see what this guy got. This is a test operation, actually. Just been trying to understand, you know, how to box. No one's teaching me, so, you know, self-taught kind of thing. Anyway. My, my uh, controller is, like, semi-broken, too. Ready. I'll let you stay up. Damn. <laughs> Let's see, it's a test operation. He might not get up. That's gonna be the great oh, okay. I give him a chance to box. I ain't gonna throw I ain't gonna throw many punches. I'm gonna I'm gonna just work on some defense along with uh as a result of working on the, um, as a, as a result of the test operation, just work on some defense with whatever I'm testing out. Let's see what he's got, but that might annoy him, and he's going to start here. But I don't know. He pressing the fight, like he, he act like he don't know what happened to him last time. Just cause he see me going backwards don't mean I, I don't got no, I don't got the sauce. <laughs> the sauce. That's not gonna help you, buddy. Hey, you see that? He gonna keep, he gonna keep coming forward. That's dumb boxing, dog. Dumb boxing. It's not smart. Telling you, man, pressure fighting is dumb boxing. I don't, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but what I'm trying to do is state the what doesn't seem so obvious. It just doesn't seem so obvious, but it's it's just not very smart. If you get all right, I'm gonna just make logic logical sense out of it. If you're up against a defensive fighter, and every time you go in for to land a punch, he hits you with five before you land two. It's smarter to not pressure him. It's better to use your defense along with your pressure. Bob and Weed, don't just walk up to him and think that you're gonna land, you know, your your 40 shot, your your 40 spamming pressure shots without getting hit 40 times before you get the get those shots off. 40 is a bit of an exaggeration. However, you gotta use that defense, man. Shoot, Mike Tyson. I guarantee you, if he didn't, first of all, Mike Tyson, that's how you're supposed to do it. Mike Tyson never went in without his defense. If Mike Tyson stood straight up and was a brawler, he would have won based off the sheer fact that he hits like an animal. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like a, when I say animal, I mean like a, like a big ox or something, you know, something with that kind of weight, you know, them punches was devastating. But against a defensive fighter, a really defensive fighter, who hits just as hard, right? Who has, who, 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 who's not, who's not afraid, right? And who will go forward too, but he has incredible defense. Mike Tyson probably wouldn't last. Probably wouldn't have lasted. But my point is, if you're going to pressure, please go in with your defense like Mike Tyson. Don't be dumb. And just continue to walk forward. It's it's dumb boxing. Brawling is dumb boxing. You know. I say that to all the people. Who call defensive fighters runners. Okay. First of all. if I'm, It's nowhere to go in the ring. And if I'm hitting back. It's not running. If you keep running into my, my, my counters. Then guess what. You need to work on your defense. You People want to say. Defensive fighters are runners. Well I say brawlers. Brawling is dumb boxing. That's just it. I'm out. <laughs> no offense to anyone. I'm just stating the, the truth. <laughs>